Hello children. Today we are going to begin with exercise 11.2 of the chapter Algebra. We have already discussed what is Algebra and we have also solved exercise 11.1. So I hope that now you somewhat have an idea of 11.1 and this will help you to solve 11.2 better. So let's move on with the exercise. Question number one. The question is the sides of an equilateral triangle is shown by L. Express the perimeter of the equilateral triangle using L. What do you mean by an equilateral triangle? The equilateral triangle is a triangle whose all sides are equal. This you have already learned in the chapter Understanding Elementary Shapes. So if one side of an equilateral triangle is L, that means all the sides of an equilateral triangle is L. So let's see how can we express the perimeter of the equilateral triangle. As given in the question, the side of an equilateral triangle is equals to L. So the perimeter will be L plus L plus L. That is 3L. The next one, question number two. The question is, the sides of a regular hexagon is denoted by the letter L as shown in the figure. You will soon be seeing the figure on your screen. Express the perimeter of the hexagon using L. What is a hexagon children? A hexagon is a figure with hexa means 6. So hexagon is a figure or a polygon with 6 sides. And what do you mean by a regular hexagon? Regular hexagon is a hexagon whose all sides are equal. So if one side of a regular hexagon is L, that means all the sides measure L. So how will you write the statement? You will write sides of a regular hexagon is equals to L. Since no denotion is given, so you will not mention whether it is centimeter, meter. You will just write L. So the perimeter will be L plus L plus L plus L plus L plus L. That is L six times. So it is six L. This is the figure. It is a regular hexagon having sides as L. Question number three. Question number three says a cube is a three dimensional figure. What do you mean by a three dimensional figure? A three dimensional figure is a figure having length, breadth, and height. Whereas the two dimensional figures have only length and breadth. So we all know that the cube is a three dimensional figure having length, breadth and height. It has six faces and all of them are identical squares. The length of an edge of the cube is given by L. Find the formula for the total length of the edges of the cube. So the length of the edge of the cube, one edge measures L. So the number of edges a cube has is 12. So the total number of edges, total length of the edges will be equals to the number of edges into the length of one edge. That is 12 into L. So the answer is 12 L where L is a variable representing the length of one 
edge as you see the figure see you in the next session children take care